OK, here's the latest napping I've done. This is what I've been doing in the garden this summer. Usually what I do is in summer I nap lots of stuff to put on my uh, website and then spend the winter selling it. Last year I put up a video of loads and loads of stuff. This year, I'm afraid, this is it. It's not a lot. The reason it's not a lot is because this is the first week of summer I've actually not had a custom job through to do. So I've pretty much been bogged down, I suppose, doing uh, work or custom jobs for people or orders. So I've got very, very actual little general stuff to put in the shop. So first of all, we look over here. I've made last year I made about 35 of these this year I've made two of them or you could say four of them if you include these giant things that that and that are obsidian this is that site of the 35 I made last year I think I sold about 29 of them they're by far the best sellers. The only trouble is, I really, really hate making them. I get no pleasure from making them whatsoever. But they sell a lot. And also, probably about half the custom orders I get are for stuff like this. So, unfortunately, I'm consigned to making those things for the rest of my life even though I despise it. What I really enjoy making is stuff like this. So, next thing I've made is lots of these. I made, last year I started making some Utsi knives. I've got better and better at coming up with artistic designs. And these sold surprisingly well. So I've made a complete range of them little baby Utsi knife, different colour Utsi knives, and I've made some really kind of big exotic ones, not too realistic, but very nice for display. I'm going to be making some more of these. As I said, surprise seller of the Utsi knives. Next thing I've made is some more of these. Made some of these last year. They sold a few, not many. They go in display boxes like that. This one is, as you can see, little daughter knife, kind of American Indian, side notched and a huge tanged and barbed British style. Another thing I'm making is arrowheads. And sell these as in the display boxes as arrowhead sets. These sell nicely as well and I can do lots of different styles of sets. Got this is a Neolithic set, one of each kind of Neolithic arrowhead can do tanged and barb sets and any other kind of sets. It's a bit of a production line, as you can see. It's all the sets are ready, they're in chert. Just get an order in, pop them in the box, and send them off. So that's what last year's sellers were. Now to new stuff I've been making this year. As I said, I really don't like making them. I'd much rather be making stuff like this. So I've made some stuff like this and come up with some designs. Hopefully they'll sell. And I can stop making stuff like that and start making stuff like this if people buy them. It's a chance. So let's see what we got. Here we have just a beaker style dagger that I've hafted onto some wood. And another beaker style dagger. These are full size. 
This is actually not full size, this was a prototype I made, just that I needed to practice the woodwork. But it's not that good, but that was the prototype that led to them. Then I thought, I'll make some smaller ones. Small and cheap ones, because a lot of people don't want to pay lots of money for expensive stuff like this. They, that's why the Yutsi knives were good sellers, because they're small and cheap, so I figured some small and cheap. Flint knives. I think they're quite pretty. And another one here. This is an obsidian version done in a very aztec -y handle style. And some more stuff I've made is... This was an experiment. This is a Australian Aboriginal blade knife. This is only one I've made. It's probably the only one I'll ever make. What you have to do is take a blade from a conical blade core and it must terminate at a point. Apparently someone told me the Aztecs took 300 blades off a blade core before they got one to terminate. And they were experts at it. they have been doing it for years. I took about 100 plus and got this one. As you can see it's got a little problem there. The flake doesn't run. It terminates in that square there but then continues up. And it's not a perfect point but that's probably a decent second. They say the Aztecs would have been doing it donkey's years and took 300 attempts to get one blade. I mean, theirs are at absolute perfection. This is the best I could come up with with 100 attempts. So, again, it's too difficult to make. These are some knives. Basically, someone said to me, all your knives are like uh, display knives. Why don't you make some functional knives that people can use for bushcraft or whatever? So I basically... I've got some really rugged, they're not too thin, they're not too they're very sharp, they're not very pretty, but they're really bound strongly. These will last donkey's years and can be resharpened. So it's a couple of functional thin knives. Maybe people will be interested in them. Here I got a, something I wanted to make. Don't know if anyone will be interested in it. It's a spear and a four shaft. My file shelf should be about five to six foot long. I, uh, that's a bit impractical to keep at home, so I've just done a short one. But there is the spear and ooh, that's a bit tight, four shaft system. All traditionally hafted. I've also been um, doing some folders. Here's my latest folders. This was one. No, bit rustic. This is a baby one I do. This one's not for sale. I actually keep this one on me. Fits nicely in the pocket. Comes out and that is razor sharp. Been using that quite a lot. Very lightweight. Goes in the pocket. And there's this one. As we can see, that's a flint one. Very metal style blade. That's quite nice, isn't it? The curved. Very happy with that one. Again, I won't be selling that one. I'm keeping that one for me. I think finally, I've been doing a bit of... Someone gave me a couple of glass slabs and I never showed them what I did with them. Huge, huge glass slab. Biggest glass I've seen for a long time and that's what I did with them. Great. That's, that's really long. Well. So that's what I've been doing lately, flint mapping wise.